Hello everyone. Uh, this is video number four of the landing gear series uh, for modeling. So today we'll, we will be doing the this upper link uh, shown here. Uh, so let me bring the component so you can follow me while I'm doing the, the modeling. So let's create a new part. Let's go to tools and options. We're changing the the units to uh, millimeters. And let's take the front plane and create a sketch. I'm going to draw a center line here for reference. I'm going to use that for a mirror at the end. Okay, so now um, I can can start sketching some lines and then um, at the end as always we will provide the the required dimensions and then we can go up to here so now let's provide a few dimensions here so this is going to be 10 millimeters. This one here is going to be 27.5. So the dimension from here to here, this is the overall dimension. We'll make that 200. dimension here is um, 35 similar to that this is also 35 okay this dimension is going to be 10 millimeters and this is going to be 15 Okay, so let's go back here. So we need to provide this dimension and this is 25. And uh, similarly, this is also 25. Okay. So it looks like we have um, measure the majority. So now let's let's work on this middle section so first i'm going to create a random line line and i want this line to be parallel to the other one so i'm just gonna select both lines and click on parallel and let me provide a dimension from here to the to this point or we can select this line here, it's up to you. And we'll make that 20. Now from here to the other side, I'll actually let's, um, let's take it from here to that point, uh, we'll make that 20. So once you do that, we can just connect these two lines and uh, same thing here. And it looks like we are ready to mirror, so we're just gonna select all these lines and go to mirror entities. And that's how you will um, mirror this component. After you do that, we can hit OK. And we can provide a, um, a thickness for this. Um, the thickness for this component is going to be 25, 25 millimeters. So you can just right here 25 and make sure that you're using the, the mid plane 
for uh, dire direction one. And let's hit OK. Now we're going to create these circular shapes at the end of the of the of the link. So for that we can either use a a circle to make the cut or we can use the fillet command. Uh, this time I'm going to use the fillet command and select the edges that I want to uh, fillet. So when, once you have selected all the edges, uh, let's change the radius and this is 12.5. And let's hit OK. If you notice, there are more fillets um, on the inside of this component. So let's go back to fillets and we're going to select this edges here and change the radius to 10 millimeters. Do you do that? We can hit OK. Okay. Um, next we'll create these circular cutouts. So we can we can take the top plane and create um, a sketch. We're going to use the uh, circle and let's create two holes here. Let's dimension this. This is going to be 15 millimeters in diameter. And I'm going to make these two circles um, equal. So once you do that, we can hit OK. And let's use the extruded cut feature and we can say through all, but if you notice, it only goes to one side. So we need to say through all both, so you can cover everything on both sides. And let's hit OK. So that's how you will do these cutouts. Um, next, we will need to provide um, some fillets, as you can see here. So let's go to fillet and the fillet radius is one millimeter and we can select this face and we also need to select that face. So as you notice, almost all edges are covered. So let's hit okay to see, um, to see how it looks. And we still need a few more here. So let's go back to fillet select this face and let's see the back yeah we also need it at the back select that that face and let's hit okay if you notice these uh the holes they have a chamfer and this chamfer are these chamfers are 45 degree um angle so let's go to under fillet, let's select now chamfer. And um, the distance will be uh, 0.5 millimeters and we'll keep the 45 degree angle. And we have to select the edge for all circles. So that's one. That's the other one. And let's hit OK. And that's how you will create uh, those chamfer. And this concludes this tutorial for the upper link uh, component. Thank you for watching.